What's going on, people? Whatever land you're in. I get this question a lot, so I'm going to try and make this quick and to the point. People say, hey, I see, they always get me on Instagram. I'm trying to grow this YouTube channel, so please like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to answer their question here and direct them over here. But they say, hey, do you, I see you You bench twice a week. You got a speed day and a max effort day? Uh, no, I don't. I have a percentage-based program for both days, which I did adapt over time from many programs that I, I've uh, ran. <clears throat> but I did adapt a 72-hour window because this does work for everybody. That's based off Westside Barber. I do do special exercises if I can, something different every week because that also is a proven method um, and makes you break through a plateau. Now, I got to say this, for all the raw lifters out there, I see a lot of guys and women in the gym, they bench squat and deadlift three times a week. I have no problem with that. I don't care what any other person does. I know it works for me. But you'll see relatively new lifters do that. And at some point, all their numbers are going to slow down, dip, or maybe go up two pounds over a course of a year or two. It's not going to work forever. And I'll just be super candid. I don't care how much drugs you take, how well you eat, how well you sleep. If you never recover good enough, mentally, physically, and your central nervous system, you'll never be as good as you could have been. Say you've been benching on Monday squatting and deadlifting on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I see a lot of people do this. I see a lot of people squat every day. And they do phenomenally well. I then say they hit like a number like 600 in a squat. Then it never goes past 600. Why would you keep squatting every day? I bet you if that person took three weeks off and didn't do anything... Then I went back into the gym and singled up like they normally do. They probably singled up to about 675. I have zero problems with any programs, but this is what I do, and this is the question I get asked a lot, so now I'll address it. I adapted a little bit of something from a lot of everything, condensed it down over the years, I've been doing this almost 20 years. I'm 47 years old. And it's not because I'm old. Um, this is the strongest I've ever been. And I'm drug free. Which is shocking me to death. Um, I have a day where I do a 3 by 5 with two movements. And a 3 by 2 with two movements. Or one movement. But I go for total tonnage over the course of that workout with little rest and so it's a it's a three by five program for two movements a three by two program for one movement but an overall total tonnage for that day so when I go in to do my heavy work which is also based off percentages It's to make that day easier for me. And this is exactly how I warm up because this is a big question. How are you warming up? How are you warming up? Okay. On my, I don't like to call it a speed day because it's technically not a speed day. It's a three by five program where I do everything for perfect reps with, and I work on nothing but technique and all the three exercises that I got programmed out. 
perfect form, perfect bar placement, move it as fast as I can. Now, as the weeks go on, the weight will get heavier. My speed will slow down. I don't care. It's about the total amount moved in that whole session and proper technique. So this program goes from 25% of a projected max all the way up to 85% over the course of 12 weeks. What I do is I bench against bands for three sets of five reps off the chest. I do some sort of pin press or floor pin press or board press against a band for my secondary movement. And my third movement is a strict floor press. I don't keep my feet up like in my videos. That's for my heavy day. I simulate a bench. I don't care what anybody says. Works for me. Because I'm going heavier. I'm, I'm approaching heavy over 12 weeks. Strict floor press. So on the day that I got to hit a big fucking number. I put my feet up and I'm giving everything I got. That fucking simple. I'm here to get strong. I don't give a fuck what people say. Well, you only got it because your feet were up. Okay, so when you go for a max attempt on your bench, put your fucking feet on the bench then. Why would I do that? Then why would I keep my legs straight with a max attempt? Makes no fucking sense, right? Okay. Hope I'm glad we agree there. By the way, like, subscribe, and share so we can move this channel forward. I do... Three, six, nine, twelve. I do 15 sets of warm ups before I hit my top set, my top three sets of five. So I do, before I hook the bands up, I lay down, I get everything set the way I want it. I take the bar, three sets, 10 reps. <clears throat> I hook the bands up, I do the bar, three sets, 10 reps with bands off the chest. I put a quarter on, three sets, 10 reps, bands, and bar. And then I do one more set. So if my number is 160, I go 145 for three sets of five reps. Take a three minute break, load 160 on, 160 for five, hit the timer on my phone when a minute bings. 160 for five, perfect form, perfect technique. Move it as fast as I can. I don't wear wrist wraps or any kind of supportive devices on this day. And so everything gets stronger in here, my bones and then my elbows, stuff like that. Then <clears throat> after I do my first movement, I'm already warmed up. So I break down my current setup and I set it up for if it's gonna be a pin press, I decide there on the spot. If I want to go low or super high or medium, it really doesn't matter. It just has to be a pin press. I have a number. I set it up so I get myself into the optimal pressing position. I might do two, two sets of triples against the bands. I go right to the number. If the number's 250, 245, I go right to 245. Three sets of five, one minute rest in between each set. Then I break all that down. It gives me a little bit of a break. Drink some water. I go set up the floor press. I use a different, I rotate bars every week. Either a fat bar or a skinny bar, a fat bar or a skinny bar. And I got to do three sets of doubles. And if it's 245, I'll lay down and take the bar. Just make sure my rack height's good because we got to adjust things. Make sure my legs are perfectly straight. I pause on the floor. Everything feels good. Nothing feels a little bit off. I go right to the number. If the number's 245, I go right to 245. Three sets of doubles with one minute rest in between. That day is done as far as main lifts. Now, what I don't show is I do 10 sets of 10 of bent over rows. I do three sets of 60 of push downs with mini bands to heal all the tendons in my forearms and around my elbows and flush out my triceps. I do, I superset a lot of time. I don't even count. I just go to failure. Front raise or front raise with dumbbells, not heavy. Probably like 15, 20 pounds. Or 
front dumbbell press, I half rep them, and I superset it with a side delt. After that, I do an upper back movement and a middle back movement, so I call it some type of a low row. After all that's done, I go home, I rest up. When I go in for my heavy day, it's very simple. I warm up like I'm in a meat setting. That way I keep it competitive and I don't waste time and blow my triceps out trying to get to a number. Because I've done this for years and usually a lot, I see a lot of people say they got to hit 350 on a a three board press. They'll go, they'll, they'll literally go the bar for a three of 10 or maybe four, 10 or something. Then they'll put the board on their chest, take 135 for eight, 155 for six, 185, 205, 225, 265, 275. I already did that 72 hours earlier. Total tonnage with three by five. If you add up everything I did, I conditioned my body, my mind, and my central nervous system to come in on my heavy day and go, okay, maybe take the bar three times, put a plate on, take that twice or three times. Um, I mean, a quarter, take that. Then put a plate on, take that for a double or a single. And then I had something I always do. If I'm going for triples, I don't take the 135 for a triple. I'll do it for a double or a single, or I'll do it for five. I don't know why, it's just how I do it. But I do it in quick, uh, in a quick succession. Then once, I'll, then I will take 185 for like a single, throw it in a rack, get my wrist wraps out, which I don't use any wrist wraps for anything on my total tonnage day. I want all my bones and everything to be strong. I'll take my wrist wraps out, get them up, and then start doing doubles. Now I take plate jumps. I'll go 220, I already did 185. What's next? 225 for a triple. And I'll think about it. And if it's feeling real, real good, I'll go 315 for a triple. If that goes real good, we'll hit 365, 385 for a triple. If that goes real good, I skip right over 405, which I want to hit. Go right to four and a quarter. Fuck it. If 385 is moving like bing, 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 and I'm in perfect form, and I did everything right 72 hours earlier, and I'm recovered, there's no reason why 410, 425 shouldn't go. So that's what I do. I take big jumps. When I get into my shirt, and they won't be for a while, but when I do, I'll warm up to, I'll go 135, 185, 225, 315, raw, off the chest, bang. Maybe 350, 365, put my shirt on, five plates. It's my first set. Bring it down, throw it up, and then see what I need. I got, got a break in a shirt. So maybe put keep five plates on, right? 495. And just see how where my groove is. And that's a whole nother topic. But that's how I run my workouts. I don't have a speed day, I have a technique day. A three by five, but with total tonnage. Then I have a heavy day where I shoot for a number in in a that I have written down. But I always underestimate my numbers, even on my program that's my light day for total tonnage and my program for my heavy day. They're two totally different numbers. One's a raw number. One's a shirted number. I always underestimate and go minus 5, 10 to 15% on both them numbers. That way I never miss a lift. I can always go up and I prepare my body correctly. I hope that answers all your questions. Please like, subscribe, and share. Stronger every week, SEW. 
thousand subscribers. I gotta get back to work. I uh, got some calls coming through. I keep muting on you guys. So let me go do my thing. You guys do your thing. Thank you, everybody, for subscribing and liking the videos and all comments, bad or good. I really don't care. I just want to start giving stuff away. So please like, subscribe, and share. David Fiore. See you later, man.